Once you have your contract template created, you're ready to send it to the client. Head into a project and from the left hand sidebar, click on the drop down menu under contract. This will show you the available templates in your account. Select the one you want to see a preview. Click the add button to make a copy of that master template inside the project and then click the send button to open a draft email with a button linking to this exact copy of the contract. The button is created automatically by combining the primary contract on the project with a SmartField contract link in the email. From this window, you can edit the text in the email or you can click the bookmark icon to swap in one of your custom canned email templates instead. This is where you'll want to be sure that your canned email template already includes the appropriate SmartField link so that the button appears correctly. In some cases, you may need to manually adjust the contract before sending it out. After you've added a contract to your project, you'll see an edit button. This will take you back to the form editor where you can make any customizations needed. Your changes will only affect this copy of the contract, not the master template. Once you are finished, click Save and Close in the top right-hand corner to return to the project. To send your modified contract, click on the downward arrow next to Contract and pick Send to pull up the email composer. Once your subagreement or questionnaire template is ready, head over to the project where you want to send it. Click on the Forms tab and scroll through the list of master templates available to find the one you want. Once you choose a form, you'll see a preview of the template. When you click Add at the top, you're creating a copy of your master template within the project. In Dubsado, you will always select the content you want to send first and then compose the email that you would like to go out with the form. You're probably used to the opposite order where you write the email first and then select the attachment after. If the questionnaire is ready to go to your client as is, hit send. A default email will appear as a draft in the bottom corner. Because you've selected the form you want to send first, the email can now place that form in the spot where you added the form link smart field. The button here is created by combining a specific form with a form link smart field in the email. You can edit the wording of the email if you'd like or swap in a canned email template before sending it to your client. If you add a form to a project but don't send it out to the client, you'll notice a red Needs Sending badge. This means the client doesn't have access to it just yet. If you'd like to personalize this copy of the form before you send it out, use your mouse to roll over the form and select Edit. If you're a graphic designer, for example, you might copy a subagreement template into a project, but then edit the subagreement to swap in a specific logo proof before sending. As long as you've opened up the subagreement inside the project, you can tweak or adjust the copy and layout here without impacting the master template. This process allows you to customize a form just for one specific client so you can remove information that doesn't apply or add personalized details as needed. When you're done, hit Save and Close from the drop-down menu to go back to the project. To email this subagreement to the client, use your mouse to roll over the form and select Send to pull up your email composer. 
you can edit the content of the default email that pops up when you send a contract or form. These default emails and a handful of others are available under Templates, Canned Emails, Edit Templates. This list is grouped separately from the other canned emails because they are already connected to specific actions in your account. For example, Send Form is the default email that's connected to hitting Send on a form. If you edit this template, the next time you try sending a form through a project, your customized version will show up instead of the old one. Here's a tip. Another way to share a form with a client is to apply it to their client portal. We'll cover client portals in more detail in a later unit.